Hello everyone, I'm Emily from OpenDoorLanguages.com. I'm here to help you learn Chinese in just 5 to 10 minutes per day. Today we are going to learn about some useful phrases. You will get to know how to say thank you, how to say sorry, something like that. Alright, let's go to the phrases page. First group is thank you and you're welcome. Alright, first one, thank you is first tone, like 谢谢. 谢谢. Thank you, uh, you're welcome. 不客气. 不客气. Alright, you're welcome. 不客气. Next one, don't mention it. 不用谢. 不用谢. Actually, 不 means not or no. 用 means need. 谢 means thank. So no need to thank. Don't mention it. 不用谢. Okay, let's see some dialogues. You will get to know. Welcome and don't, don't mention it. Alright, let's go. Dialogue A. A waiter opens the door for Mike when Mike comes to the entrance. Mike says, 谢谢. 谢谢. Waiter says, 不客气. 不客气. Alright, next dialogue. Number two. When Mike takes out his laptop from his bag, a piece of paper drops out. His secretary picks it up for him. Mike says, 谢谢你, uh, 你 means you, so thank you. Uh, secretary says, 不用谢, don't mention it, 不用谢. Okay, let's go back to the phrases, get to know how to say sorry, and it's okay. Uh, 对不起, sorry, uh, 对不起, 没关系, uh, it's okay. It doesn't matter. 没关系. Alright. Next one. 没事. Uh, never mind. 没事. Okay. 没事. Alright. Let's see the dialogue. Mr. Wang was caught in the traffic jam on his way to the dinner with his wife. Mr. Wang says, Oh, 对不起, 对不起, sorry, Mr. Wang says. Oh, make sure, never mind, make sure, make sure. But when somebody does make some mistakes, like John accidentally spilled some coffee on his friend when he passed by, John say, 对不起, looks like my fault. 对不起, and friend says, 没关系, it's okay, huh? no big deal. 没关系, 没关系. Alright, let's go back to the useful phrases. The last part is, say goodbye. Huh? You can say that to everybody is, 再见, 再见. Huh? 再. Actually means again and jian means see. So goodbye, see you again. Probably you will see again. Probably not. We don't know. So zai jian. Next one, xia zi jian is you are sure you will see somebody soon next time. So xia zi jian. Xia zi means next time. And the jian means see, so see you next time. Alright, let's go to the dialogue. Hmm. Number five, when Mike is leaving and he needs to say goodbye, and Mike says, 再见, oh, like bye bye, 再见. Friends says, 再见, bye bye. 
Number six, even though Mike will see his friends soon, he wants to say goodbye to them before he leaves the party. Mike says, 下次见 see you next time. 下次见 friends say, 下次见 I'll see you next time. 下次见 So now we review this lesson. Number one, make a dialogue. When the waiter brings John a coffee, of, a cup of coffee, how to speak to each other? That would be John says, "Thank you." The waiter says, "No problem." Question two: When a woman lost her wallet, you just happen to find it and return to her. She says, "Thank you." How do you reply? That would be. 不用谢 ，no need to thank. 不用谢 ，or 不客气 ，welcome. 不客气 ，right. Number three. How do you apologize for accidentally dropping your friend's key off? That would be. Oh, 对不起，对不起。Number four. You have appointment with a friend, and he's ten minutes late. So, he comes to apologize to you. How do you reply? That would be, oh, 没事儿，没事儿 ，never mind. Oh, 没关系 ，it's okay. 没关系。When you finish your weekly lesson and you are ready to say goodbye to your Chinese tutor, like me, what do you say? So that will be, 下次见 See you next time. Well, so I guess I can say, 下次见 See you next time. Thank you for learning Chinese with OpenDoorLanguages.com. We hope you enjoy it. If you like this free video, why not like us on Facebook? Or you can visit our website at opendoorlanguages.com. Next lesson, we will learn about、uh, how to introduce yourself to the people you first meet.、Huh. So we hope see you soon. 下次见 See you next time. Bye bye.